the top stories. A 22-year-old man succumbs to a gunshot wound. Government gets more than $2.5 million from its excess rainfall insurance. And CGI Maple take the South Dakota General Super Cup. Welcome to Nation News from Monday, December 8, 2014. I'm Natasha Beckles. No matter where you are in the world, at home or abroad, Nation News keeps you connected with what's happening in Barbados. Through our website, video newscast, and online e-papers. So stay connected with Nation News. Your news, your time, your way. Police are investigating the death of Albert Boyce of Cat's Castle in the city, who was shot on Sunday morning just after he left the Hennessy Artistry show at Kensington Noble. Reports indicate that the 20-year-old was ambushed and shot several times along Lower President Kennedy Drive in St. Michael. He was rushed to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital but succumbed to his injuries this morning. His parents, Albert Stout and Glenda Boyce, said their son was a decent, respectful man who did not cause trouble. Government has received more than $2.5 million from its excess rainfall insurance policy following last month's heavy showers. And Whitehill, St. Andrew, where the road collapsed, may be one of the areas to benefit. The check was presented on Monday morning by the CRIF Segregated Portfolio Company, formerly known as the Caribbean Catastrophe Risk Insurance Facility. Director of Finance and Economic Affairs Martin Cox said Whitehill seemed to be the hardest hit area, but the Ministry of Transport and Works was still working out how the problems in the area would be addressed. Meantime, Director of the Department of Emergency Management, Judy Thomas, said the drainage unit and some families had also made requests for assistance. New principal of the Graydon Seeley Secondary School, Beverly Bancroft, says it's important for students to learn how to use social media and other technology responsibly. Addressing the school's annual speech there recently, she said this is a burning issue. Be aware that there are rules and regulations that govern the use of the internet and other media. It becomes quite tiresome at times in school, having to deal with issues between students relative to posts on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and so on. There is nothing wrong with technology. It is how we use it. We've got to use it in all forms. But if the students are to be main using the technology, they have to be disciplined in its use. Government is taking steps to help small farmers boost their productivity, starting with those in St. George. Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Esworth Reed, revealed that a pilot food zone project will soon be rolled out, involving the 244 farmers in that parish. He made the disclosure on Monday morning during a national consultation workshop on the initiative. The ship, which was a constant fixture on Browns Beach for a number of years, has finally set sail. The SV Roof took its maiden voyage on Saturday as part of the Caribbean Sail Cargo Initiative. CEO of SV Roof Limited, Ian Dash, said the initiative was aimed at improving interregional shipping and seamanship and transporting fruits and vegetables. Christmas is said to be for children, and although the big day is still some time away, they seem to be already having a jolly good time. On Friday evening, many of them got treats from Santa Claus as Digital launched its Christmas promotion in the city. Then on Saturday, the children of Sandy Lane employees also enjoyed the company of Father Christmas as the hotel staged its annual Christmas party. Gifts and a wide array of foods throughout the more than 300 little ones. In sport, CGI Maple put aside an unsatisfactory batting display to beat ESA Field Pickwick by 40 runs and win their third Sajikar General Super Cup Limited Overs title at the 3Ws Oval on Sunday. Sent in the bat, Maple were dismissed for 141 in 49.1 overs. In reply, Pickwick slumped from 82 for 3 to be all out for 101 in 38.2 overs. Captain Kyle Hope top scored with a patient 30 of 80 balls with a solitary 6. Maple, who were losing finalists in 2012 and 2013, previously won the cup title in 1977 and 1980. And finally, a woman in southern Colorado has given birth to a baby girl who tipped the scales at almost 14 pounds. Alicia Hernandez was expecting a 7 pound baby, but Mia was born by cesarean section weighing 13 pounds 13 ounces. 
She reportedly had low glucose levels and trouble breathing, but the family hopes to take her home soon. And that's Nation News for Monday. For more, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And get your daily nation on Tuesday.